Well, welcome to today's podcast, podcast listeners. And we have another episode of podcast with Scott and Jim for you today. My name is Jim Van Steed, and with me is my co-host, Gautam Sivach. And today, we're very excited to have Alpita Giordatos with us. Alpita is an IBM fellow and the CTO of AI for IBM Z Systems and ZOS. During her storied IBM career, Alpita has driven industry-leading infrastructure innovation into the Z Systems platform. Her achievements have influenced every layer of the IBM Z Systems stack contributing to many products and enhancements driving significant customer value. Alpita, welcome to our podcast. Thank you, Jean, and it's a pleasure to be here with you today talking about my favorite subject, AI. Excellent. So to kick it off, what interests you in AI? Please talk to us about your personal impact and thoughts on bringing AI to market. Certainly, AI is a very exciting area. Uh, AI has the potential to transform the world and disrupt every industry. Uh, AI certainly has broad applicability to a wide set of use cases across many, many different industries and helping our clients leverage this powerful technology to deliver a better customer experience, uh, to make better business decisions faster, or to perform core business processes more efficiently is, is very, very exciting to me. It is also very important to me to not only bring AI technology to the market, but also deliver this technology in a way that was very easy for our clients to consume. And with our Z16 server that we've GA just this past May, we delivered an industry first on-chip AI inference accelerator coupled with a very robust AI ecosystem that allows our clients to infuse AI in every transaction uh, with minimal application changes. We certainly made a number of technology investments in optimizing the integrated AI Z stack from the silicon up so our clients can transparently inherit the AI acceleration benefits provided by the Z16 on-chip integrated AI inferencing accelerator. So I was uh, very, very happy to be part of this effort. You know, I spent the better part of the, the last three to four years of my IBM career focusing on AI and focusing on AI technology that will help our enterprise clients embed AI intelligence into their workloads and applications, but at the same time, make sure that they can apply AI to every transaction, every payment, and at the same time, not slow down their transactions. Thank you, Opira. And um, I would ask why AI? Like, what are the challenges that our clients are facing with uh, bringing AI to enterprise workloads? Two of the most common challenges that businesses face when trying to implement AI are one, implementing real-time AI use cases and integrating AI into their existing systems and really scaling uh, AI so that they can apply AI to every transaction without slowing down those transactions. And if you look at what is happening in the world today, things such as instant payments, increasingly stricter regulations that require real-time AML and the dramatic increase in online transactions that has brought with it an increased amount of fraud. All of these things have brought real-time AI to the forefront and implementing real-time AI in enterprise workloads without impacting SLAs is now more critical than ever. And you'll see that the technology that we've built on IBM Z from the Silicon app enables our clients to apply AI in all of these use cases at the speed and the scale that our clients mission critical workloads require. And even for other use cases, such as cleaning a settlement that are processed in batch workloads, the volume of transactions is ever increasing and the time windows are shrinking as the industry is moving to same day day settlements. And even for these use cases, throughput and latency have become very, very critical. That's why on Z, we really focused on delivering uh, a technology, not only a hardware accelerator, but as I said, the optimizations that were made throughout the stack to be able to enable our clients to embed AI and apply AI 
even to workloads with, with, uh, that have very, very stringent uh, SLAs. The second challenge that a lot of our clients are facing is, is the cost of false positives, right? If you look uh, at the cost for false positives, uh, when you look at credit card transactions, for example, decline credit card transactions cost the industry about $298 billion in lost fee revenue. But not all, only that, it's not only the lost revenue, but also the impact the client experience. If you're like myself, if you're trying to make a purchase with a credit card and you get declined, that transaction is get declined, that credit card tends to make it to, to the back of your wallet and you use a different credit card to make that purchase. So that has a direct impact to the card issuer's uh, revenue. In addition to that, being able to detect fraud in real time, uh, right? And, and making sure that, uh, again, that you do catch fraud such that you can prevent it rather than having to reconcile fraud afterwards, uh, which is much, much harder for enterprises to recoup uh, that revenue. Also, you, when you look at anti-money laundering, right? Uh, again, uh, a lot of these AML screening today suffers from a very high false positive rate, which imposes a very severe operational burden on banks and being able to uh, deploy models that are more accurate, accurate, such as deep learning models in AML uh, screening can significantly improve the industry's very high false positive rates. So it's those type of challenges that we build our AI technology on our Z systems to be able to help our clients self, to help our clients uh, certainly address those key challenges. And these are two key challenges that frequently prevent enterprise clients from benefiting from AI uh, that can certainly help them to improve revenue opportunities or prevent losses due to fraud. Great insights on financial transaction uh, and ethical AI. It's uh, definitely vital. And uh, uh, let's also uh, give our listeners, the entrepreneurs and uh, the AI startup uh, founders and CEO, uh, uh, insight on why do so many AI projects fail? There are, there are a lot of reasons why AI projects fail, but I will talk about the ones that we hear and see most often. So first of all, businesses need to clearly define the use case and focus on the business problem that needs to be solved and how AI can be used to solve this business problem in an impactful way, instead of focusing on the technology itself and the implementation tools. And business also need to think about the return on investment and identifying the key KPIs to measure the benefits of their AI investments. Second, poor data quality and data governance are still major hurdles for organizations. Uh, certainly data is the key resource of every AI projects and businesses need to develop a data governance strategy to ensure the availability, quality, integrity, and security of the data that they, they will be using uh, in their project. But the two most important reasons why AI projects fail, in my opinion, are one, integrating AI with existing systems, and two, lack of collaboration between different teams and bringing all the right teams to the table right from the project inception. And these two are related. AI is a team sport in my view, and having the data science team working in isolation on an AI project is not a recipe for success. Building a successful AI project requires collaboration between data scientists and data engineers and ML ops engineers and system re resiliency engineers, designers, and line of business professionals. You need your data science and data engineers and infrastructure engineers to work together to bridge the gap between different teams and to operationalize AI solutions at scale. And just to give you a quick example, I have seen cases where the data science team handed over the model to the application developers and MLOps engineers and walked away. The application engineers and MLOps folks quickly found out that the model uh, was not meeting their SLAs. When they embedded that model into their applications, they had to rewrite the model and the AI pipeline from Python to Go to meet their application performance requirements. 
So it's not only about creating the most sophisticated model, it's also about ensuring that the model can be successfully deployed in production environments, as I've said before. So all of these teams that I mentioned earlier, line of business, data engineers, data scientists, right, SREs and infrastructure uh, teams need to be on board and start working together right from the project start. I would say this is the key to successful AI products. Today in the podcast with us was the fellow of data and AI at IBM Z Systems, Alpida Zorzatos. We learned about the value of strengthening security and preventing fraud. Share this podcast to people who wants to learn building secure AI products and strengthen.